Hello singers, Falconer here. Today we want to talk about head voice. What is head voice? Well, some people think head voice means a light, heady quality, but that's not necessarily head voice. The way I've understood head voice is that it is a series of notes where the resonance is felt predominantly in the head. So the way I usually demonstrate this for students is I ask them to put their hand on the chest, and you can do that yourself, and then to glissando up into the high range. So if you go, ah, when you're down in the low part, you'll feel the vibration in your chest. As you ascend, you'll feel that vibration disappears, and you don't feel it anymore. When you don't feel it anymore, you're fully in your head voice. Head voice is not just one quality of sound. Head voice can be three different qualities. In fact, one of my favorite authors on singing, E. Herbert Cesare, talks about this. He says that, you know, you have falsetto. And then there's another depth, a little thicker, pharyngeal. And then there's one depth lower, basic or full. All three depths are all head voice but there's a different function in the vocal cords. Now, not everybody has the same problem. So you've got singers who have a big, strong voice, and they can take that full-sounding chest voice all the way up into their head voice, but they have two gears. It's really full and hard, or it's pure falsetto, and they don't have anything in between. Then you have the singer who has the opposite, and they can't bring that, they go right up into a falsetto, and they can't get that toughness like in chest voice. So they'll have a different need. And then, of course, you've got the singer who's got a really squeezy tone. It's bright and cutting, but they can't seem to get that loose, fluid, warm tone of uh, falsetto or that fullness of chest. So what we want to do is each singer will have a specific need, and therefore you have to address them very specifically. I can't address all three in this one video. However, let's talk about the one that goes up and you know, it's trying his best to get that full voice up into the head voice, and he can't do it. I remember that. You know, you're going, ah, and it's like, ah, <laughs> why does that happen? So, in order to help you develop that, first you have to learn to get the chords to adduct up in the top end of the voice. So you can start with something like, and that creates now some chord closure. You're strengthening those adductor muscles. Another exercise that might be very useful is, or just, at least you're getting those chords to close up, and then gradually you can, can build the strength so that you can get the full depth of chord vibrating. Now, I know this doesn't answer all your questions. So if you have questions, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or come to my website, www.freeyourvoice.org. And of course, we'll do our best to answer all your questions. Singer, the song ain't got no voice.